Alice in Wonderland. Hello, Zelda. Kitty, 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 kitty. That's my Cheshire cat. Alice was growing very tired listening to her sister read, and just as her eyes began to close, she saw a white rabbit hurry by, looking at his pocket watch and talking to himself. Alice thought it was very curious indeed, a talking rabbit with a pocket watch. So she followed him into the rabbit hole beneath the big tree, and down she fell. Down to the center of the world, it seemed. When Alice landed with a thump, the white rabbit was just disappearing through a door, which was too small for her. Alice drank from a bottle on the table and shrank away to a very tiny size, but... She could not reach the key to the little door. At last, Alice found a way to get through the little door. Seated on a bottle, she floated into Wonderland on a mysterious sea. There's the dodo bird. On through Wonderland, Alice went, looking for the white rabbit. She met two jolly fellows, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. They did not know the rabbit, so Alice hurried on. At a neat little house in the woods, at last she met the white rabbit himself. The white rabbit sent Alice into his little house to hunt for his gloves, but instead she found some cookies labeled, Take One. And so she did. The cookie made Alice grow as big as the house. What a sight! The rabbit and his friend Dodo thought she was a dreadful monster. Alice picked a carrot from the rabbit's garden, and eating it made her small again, so small that she was soon lost in a forest of grass. Alice then found herself in a garden of talking live flowers. There were bread and butterflies and rocking horse flies, too. Alice thought the garden was a pleasant place, but the flowers thought Alice was just a weed, so they would not let her stay. Next, Alice met a haughty caterpillar blowing smoke rings, and he told Alice to eat his mushroom if she wished to change size. Alice sampled one side and shot up taller than the treetops, frightening the birds, but another bite made Alice just the right size. Now which way shall I go, Alice wondered. The signposts she found along the path were no help. They pointed all over, down, up, back, this way, that way, yonder. No, this way. If I were looking for the white rabbit, I'd ask the Mad Hatter, said the grinning Cheshire cat up in the tree. He lives down there. Let's have a spot of coffee. Oh, it's a tea party, though, right? Alice found the Mad Hatter and the March Hare celebrating their unbirthdays at a tea party, and she joined them for a while. After that nonsensical tea party, Alice wanted to go home, but none of the strange creatures seemed to know the way. And there's the little Dormouse. Alice wandered into the Queen's garden, and soon came the royal procession. 
and who should be the royal trumpeter but the white rabbit himself? The Queen of Hearts asked Alice to play croquet, but Alice did not like the looks of the game. Off with her head! cried the Queen. Away Alice ran, while the army of cards gave chase. Down all the tangled paths of Wonderland, and back to a river bank. There's her sister up there. I'm glad to be back where things are really what they seem, said Alice as she woke up from the strange Wonderland dream. And that is the end.